What is going on guys, my name is Dominic and for you guys today I'm bringing you Bay Clan's wall with number 196 and 197 and it looks like we're going to start off here by watching a live attack of course as, as you apologies that I couldn't do war, num war with number 196 that was due to the update and I will scroll through the war to show you guys how we did but because of the update the replays weren't available so there was no point me just doing a whole video based on no replays or no attacks so yeah, that one we did win, I'll show you that after this attack, and then I'll just show you the ending, not the whole ending, but I'll show you guys how this will turned out, and just a few of my, not tips, not ideas, a few of my views on the, on the latest September update. And on the left here we got Richard, number 12, attacking there, number 15, with a Gohog attack strategy. It looks like he's doing all right, I think. Um, I don't know. He's oh yeah, he's only got a queen star. It looks like he's not going to get the three star in my opinion. But you know, he can always be in here. For, he's always in here for a shot. But um, he already pre-places that one healing spell there. I think the giant bomb is going to be there. Doesn't matter. The hogs do dodge that gap, so we won't know if there's a giant bomb. He puts all three heal spells very quickly, and honestly, I don't think that's the greatest move. All three heal spells down and still half the base to take out, with definitely another giant bomb there. So after that, yep, the heal spells expired, and it's going to be another giant bomb somewhere. Just so, oh, actually, yeah, no, nah, it's not going to go well for him. Giant bomb. The last heal spell was used too quickly. All the hogs are too low health and. And it's going to end just with a one star here, close to taking out all the defenses, honestly. But once those hogs even take out, that, they're not even going to take out the cannons. So yeah, it doesn't matter. 58% is right, only a one star, but we have left quite a few town hall. <laughs> we've not, we've left this number 11 one star. Number 13 hasn't been touched yet. Most of the lower bases have been cleared out from 16 down, but 15 and 14 haven't been cleared yet. And we've only got five attacks, and if I just look at who those attacks are, one is a Ken, one is a Junkyard, Zulu, Doa, and then the last attacker, Gary, is useless. And to not, yeah, just Gary, and that's a useless attack. But as you can see, they've only got six attacks left. I don't think they're in any better position than us. They were unable to two star us, or well, they've mostly two star us, three star one of our, only one of our higher town hall nines. Only two of our town or three of our town hall. Yeah, only three of our town hall nines have actually been two stars. So, again, looking at the town hall tens, it hasn't been a very good day at the office for these town hall tens on our wall. We're number 197. Quite a, quite a lot of town hall tens. I like this new feature though. Quite a lot, as you can see, the town hall ten attack is not too great. Almost everyone except Thor and Ken so far having a bad war. But anyway, so yeah, as you can see, I don't think there is any way back. I see the total destruction is very small. I thought it would be somewhere on this screen right here, but it is down here, and we are about 8% higher than they are. 7 point, like, something percent higher than they are. So it's looking good, and definitely, they are a good clan. 126 war wins. We are now going to be 197. So now if we just look back to our most previous war against Waven, of course, there's no replays that are going to be available. Um... And you can see they didn't touch our top, hardly touched our top five. This was a very, very, not was it? Yeah, very, very unfair war. They did end up not using 16 attacks, so they did give up fairly early. They knew they were one win, they one win off 100, so they do walk a lot. But they knew that there was no chance against us. And if you just look at how I did, Ooh. yeah. <laughs> anyway, okay, so yeah, they didn't even three star a single town hall nine, which is quite disappointing from them, their point of view, because that's what wins wars three star. We three star every single one of the town hall nines, and two star every single one of the town hall tens. I think in almost one go. I don't know if I tried that check. No, not not in one go. Most of them in one go, but not all of them in one go. But nonetheless, that was a brilliant one. And if we just now look at, nah, I'm not gonna bring, I'm not allowed to bring different people. Not allowed. Okay, we might as well look at one of my tags. My number 15, me number 15 attacking their number 16. And as you can see, this is a very ideal base for a go hog attack strategy. Just put it on times two speed so I can get another replay in. Start off a call. As you can see, it's double giant bomb outside the base. 
Luckily, I caught that one, but I need to now know where the second double giant bomb, or at least the other double giant bomb, not double, the other giant bombs are, because if my hogs, obviously my hogs are going to clear up the rest of the base, but the giant bombs are outside, so I'm very cautious when I put these hogs down, making sure that they're not going to run into the giant bomb and die off quickly. But as you can see, the two heal spells do go down. Poison spell will go down on the skeletons. There you go. And then the last heal spell goes down relatively quickly, but as you can see, there's only two defenses now. And look how many hogs are still standing. Spring traps are my worst nightmare. Honestly, watching them. You have about six hogs left, you think you're going to three star, and they all run into spring traps. So, uh, yeah, but anyway, you can see a lot of big chunk of hogs still here. Definitely looking to a three star, but bang, there is one giant bomb there. And if I did come across another giant bomb right next to it, honestly, I don't know where that one that, that last giant bomb is. I didn't run into it. But if I did run into to that last giant bomb with those hogs this could have been a whole different story because i ended up with only 30 seconds or something remaining so it was it would be a lot tighter than it is at the moment but as you can see beautiful hogs luckily there wasn't a giant bomb trolling me in that corner over there and also if you just look at how i did this war six stars won in this war i'm so proud of myself first time i've ever gotten six stars in like months so Proud of, proud of myself there should be and next attack we can look at junkyard dog on their number seven very interesting base layout it looks like a very confusing one not a, it doesn't look a very la go la friendly because it's just everything is all over the place here but nonetheless as you can see he starts off here by taking down this one archer tower looks like he wants to trigger out the clan castle troops doesn't do too good of a job of that but maybe he was just trying to oh he was just trying to take out that one defense there right Golem won't go running around the sides to that archer tower. That makes sense. And you can see this base is so confusing. It's like it makes your head go man retarded. But he got, he is coming with Valkyries. These people had almost lava hounds in every single clan castle. I prefer that because dragons do do quite a lot of damage. And if you're coming in with Valkyries and the dragon turns to focus on Valkyries, then you're not going to have too much success because the Valkyries cannot do nothing but just try and run as fast as they can. You can see he's got one haste spell here. I don't know if he's even going to use the haste spell. Oh, he does use it here. Smart idea, but still, it doesn't take down that one archer tower. But in this situation, everything again is looking so messy. I don't know if it's yet. Yeah, there is no Valkyries remaining. The Archer Queen's ability just activated in time because a double giant bomb or a single giant bomb was there. And yeah, as you can see, he's only he's down to the last corner. Golem's taken down this one side very slow process going on there but a queen and a minion is coming to help queen turns focus to the barrack and that was a brilliant three star attacking one higher than his mirror and you can see if i just look at how that attack went yep richard failed the mob defended so it's looking good if i just scroll through how everything went it's looking good and if i just look at the stats most heroic attack is from black widow on there number one but it was only a one star so no need to bring you that and maybe yeah i'm I'm just gonna wrap it up here guys it's about eight minutes in now so i hope you enjoyed the video I hope you enjoyed it we're getting ever so closer to 200 wins again i'm gonna maybe probably do the noah's ark and the whole goblin strategy for that 200 win war but we'll see how it goes so that's it from me guys hope you enjoyed it and goodbye